right so we are towards the end of our syllabus right this is the 14th chapter test of hypothesis and significance for pm students also this is the last chapter under the statistics part right pm might a statistic part to get in anthem chapter a maker da students letter right all together there are 15 chapters there this is the 14th one right test of hypothesis and significance right or we called it as hypothesis testing hypothesis testing right first you should able to identify the difference between hypothesis and hypothesis right slide deke thiyenne mokadda hypothesis right mam metan liya liya gathi kohomada hypothesis so how can we differentiate these two terms me thiyenne mamada singular ekai plural ekai right hypothesis ki wothin only one singular hypothesis ki wothin this is the plural term right eka wachana bahu wachana hypothesis me vidiyata thibothin eka wachana hypothesis ki wathin bothin it is plural right so what do you mean by a hypothesis mokadda me hypothesis ekak kiyala kiya right have you heard about this term hypothesis previously hypothesis ahala thiyenawad right hypothesis apita therena vidihakata kiyowothin it is about assumptions right assumptions api kiyana hypothesis testing ekata kiyana kalpita pariksha right nan kalpitaya kiyala kiyanne api samanya mukokata da assumption ekata upakalpana ekata right so here what we are going to do under hypothesis testing is that we are going to make a certain assumption right and that assumption through statistical test we are going to come to a conclusion right api assumption ekak api mokak hari hitenawa e assumption eka statistics pavichchi karala eka harida beradida kiyala test karannai yanne right that is what we do under hypothesis testing right assumption for an example i assume majority of students pass the exam right this is an assumption right make assumption ekak mama kanna upakalpanaya majority of students pass the exam right majority of students pass the exam or majority of students may pass the exam right this is the assumption i have made by using statistics i am going to determine whether my assumption is what whether it is correct or incorrect right that is simply what we are going to do right the provided assumption based on statistics we are going to conclude whether it is correct or incorrect right that is what we supposed to do and the hypothesis testing right <clears throat> assumptions check karanne yanne assumption eka harida varadida using statistics right right here there are some terms you should be familiar with right first thing is null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis right null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis right null hypothesis we denoted by h not right h not well in thamai api null hypothesis eka pennanne and alternative hypothesis we can represented by h1 right 
So for this given assumption, we should determine what should be our alternative hypothesis and what should be our null hypothesis. Apita me dilatiana assumption ekata adalava api alternative hypothesis sekai null hypothesis sekai develop karana or right. So when developing these null and alternative hypothesis, right, what we do is normally the desired result. Api assume kara diya kya positive path tiya na right for here. Majority of students pass the exam. Ita kora positive path mo kadh. Students la pass vina ekad fail vina ekad, right? The probability of passing the exam, right? Exam mega pass vina ekad tamai desired result. Ina desired result ekad mama ganno na under alternative hypothesis, right? So I can build up my whole alternative hypothesis as the same as my assumption. Make a gun put. My alternative hypothesis segment, my desired result, a matter in owner result, a mama a kill a hit and a result, take a tamai, my alternative hypothesis segment, right? Majority of students pass the exam. The total opposite for this my alternative hypothesis secretary, some poor name of Prativiri the Bavena data mine, but we want to consider as null hypothesis, right? So if we consider this, what is the total opposite of this? Make a sample on it. Majority, Majority of students. Do not pass the exam. Right? Negative form again. Tamay apko dag pila apatte null hypothesis theka kya ne? Right? Do not pass the exam. Right? So that is how we can determine our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis or build our alternative and null hypothesis by using a given assumption. Assumption ne ka do not pass this. This is very critical. Right? We want to determine. What is our alternative hypothesis or the desired result and the total opposite of that we need to consider as null hypothesis. Right. What else we should know? Right. Stating the correct hypothesis to be tested requires a very clear understanding of the problem, right? Hypothesis. So this is a quite difficult subject to explain for you because you don't have a research component, right? PM keva, DA keva, tape curriculum mula research component teka kne, eganisa maker, right? This is associated with researchers, right? Research karno kela halati na onede, right? The purpose of research is what? Right? There is an existing knowledge, right? So by doing research, as what we do? We what? Increase or we upgrade the level of existing knowledge. research level right? That is the purpose of research, right? That is why people are doing researchers, right? For COVID-19, right? COVID-19 multiple taquena. For that, they need to do researches. Apetina existing knowledge base again, right? Existing knowledge level leke, right? A sambandin then one. So by doing researches, we need to build up or we need to upgrade our knowledge to that extent, right? That is the purpose of research. So when doing researches, this concept is more needed for us, right? Hypothesis testing, right? To For you to give an idea, right? When doing a research, again, academic research, the first thing is that the research should be researchable or a researchable question should be there, right? This is the most difficult thing, right? Take it away again, state in the Stating the correct hypothesis to be tested requires a very clear understanding of the problem, right? You can have a research problem maker, not research question, research problem, right? 
research problem make a hurry at a mandragan known, right? It is the most difficult part of a research, right? Research problem make a hurry at Andragan, right? For an example, what? Right. Assume president says, right, the quality, the university graduates, quality of the work performed by university graduates in the job market is poor. Right? A normal statement assume right? Quality of the work performed by university graduates in the job market is poor. Degree arangila job market take a giata ethana the ala karana job role like a bad echerma quality. Ne. Right? So this is an statement. Right? This is researchable. Hey. So we are demanding to increase the input for universities. University will input take a vertical and nakila api demand karana. Right? Somehow, you know, uni so most of the students try to enter for a university, right? And if you go through most of the key position holding personnel, they are most of them are with university degrees, right? In that situation, right? This kind of a statement is there, right? So this is researchable, right? So this is our research problem, right? Paraspara ini, right? Samaharu, right? Eka pette king, mega demand deka kia na onik pette kia na quality work ka perform karan nae kia, right? So this is the research problem. So identifying this research problem is the most difficult thing. Based on this research problem, what the researcher can do is, researcher can determine the research objective. Isilam research check a current and researchable problem. Megakirum, but Kari Prashna, Tina Mantamai, a Prashna to visit the Mark with the research check a current. Covid nineteen will be hit up now, right? A problem, so we do a research. Research credit the Gaki number. Medical sciences, you know, social sciences, you know, medical science first, so when approach you know, social sciences, well, when approach you know, right? So, what, what is the research objective? Him a statement so this is a researchable problem. So what would be the research objective? To identify whether there is a relationship between Quality relationship between qualification and quality. Right? This may be the objective. Right? We have a statement. We can see that we have research checker and a pelambuni. In a research checker and a objective to identify whether there is a relationship between qualification and quality. A pay qualification level like I, right? A pay job market take a perform current quality like I other Kakari Sambandata, right? So we are going to determine that that is our objective, right? Based on this objective, right? What we can do is we can develop an assumption, right? May someone research Kerpoi medically at the right? So much. Researchers may be available. So based on that, we can make assumption, right? May the katra sambandata vyaktiya na madhe nadhe ke la apita research ka karan na khali unka karan na puluwa. Asi um karan na puluwa, right? Based on the past researchers, khali me sambandhen karapu research, vene vene ratawal vela vene vene situations vela karapu research base karagi na, right? Assume that we are doing this for a particular district. Right in K gold, Kilagatuki. 
බෙලමන රටවල උගන්ඩාවේ ඇමරිකාවේ රයිට් කරපු රිසර්චර්ස් ඇති මේ වගේම රයිට් බේස්ඩ් ඔන් දෝස් රිසර්චර්ස් රයිට් we can find what already known on this topic right based on that we can develop a hypothesis or we call what a, an assumption so we assume what there is a significant relationship between quality between what qualification level and quality of the work right based on the past researches we can develop this hypothesis so this is what we are going to test right using statistics right now hypothesis ek develop karata passe what we do we need to collect data sample data tikak karagena right there are uh, statistical test softwares right pm hem lamai hem dannu athi spss right mini tab boy wage softwares thiyena softwares walta dala right so we can do certain test with to conclude whether this assumption is correct or wrong right that is where this hypothesis testing comes from right all the minna me parts ahu wenne api kelimma avila nathara wenne metani right that is the issue right so what you want to know is hypothesis testing means we are going to test assumptions when testing assumptions we need to determine clearly what is our alternative hypothesis and what is our null hypothesis alternative hypothesis means our desired result and the total opposite of that should be considered as null hypothesis okay some examples test of hypothesis test of significance in the testing of hypothesis one objective is to make a decision whether the hypothesis is true or false right that is what we are going to do ape hypothesis eka harida වැරදි අපි අසම්ෂන් එක හරිද වැරදිද කියලා ඩිටර්මයින් කරන්න අය තියෙන. The testing procedures uses the information from random samples drawn from the respective population, right? To test an hypothesis, we should have what? We should have data. Data we can collect from a sample, right? Population එකෙන් ගන්න පුළුවන් නම් හොඳයි. Population එකෙන් බැරි වෙලාවට most of the times what we do is we collect the data from a sample. if the sample information agrees and is in favor of the hypothesis then we can conclude that the hypothesis is true right ape right based on this right h not true the false h not api accept karanawada x not h not api reject karanawada right like that way we can conclude it statistically right procedures so first we need to take a random sample and then compute compute an appropriate test using the statistics and then using the statistics to make a decision whether the hypothesis is accepted or rejected so we will discuss it with an example right this is another thing you should know type 1 error and type 2 errors right type 1 errors and type 2 errors type one error type two error right type one error right right in hypothesis testing we are going finally we are going to conclude whether our assumption is correct or incorrect right api kelimma den meka antimata awa gimu meka statistically test kala api final conclusion eka denna yanne right conclusion ekak deddi right first we are not referring to this api meya diha bala neme kiyan right based on this right this hypothesis 
අපි සාමාන්‍ය කියන්නේ අපි කන්ක්ලූෂන් එක විදියට කියන්නේ majority of student pass the exam නැත්ත majority of students do not pass the exam මේ විදියට නෙවෙයි right we can do that but what we normally do is with reference to these hypotheses we are going to conclude right hitan majority of students the make statistically test karata passi apita penawa mokada me statement eka hari majority of student pass the exam etakota oka api statistically conclude karanne right we are rejecting h not right h not verdi so we are going to reject h not h not va reject karanawa h not reject karanawa nan accept karanne kawuda h1 h1 kiyala kiyanne mokadda majority of students pass the exam right me assumption eka verdi na statistically find statistically huwata passe me assumption eka verdi eka kiyanne mokadda h not hari h1 verdi ඒ වගේ වෙලාවට අපි කියන්නේ මොකද්ද s not හරි ඒ කියන්නේ null hypothesis එක හරි so we are going to accept s not so accept it right that is how we conclude when it comes to statistical conclusions right එහෙම අපි conclude කරද්දි අපෙන් වැරදි දෙකක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් මොකද්ද මෙයාට ආදේශ කළ කිව්වොත් ඉන් වැරදි දෙකක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් මොකද්ද one thing is what we reject h not right reject h not when it is atam h not hari ati habai api statistical test ekak perform karata passe api conclude karanna conclude karala tiyenne meyawa reject karala right ඇත්තටම මෙයා හරි වෙලාවක h not හරි වෙලාවක මෙයා රිජෙක්ට් කරොතින් අපි කියනවා ඒ වගේ එර එකක් type 1 එක right rejecting h not or rejecting null hypothesis when it is true right type 2 එර එනම් එකක් වෙන්නේ නැත්ද accepting h not when it is මෙන්න මෙයා ඇත්තටම වැරදි right මේ ස්ටේට්මන්ට් එක ඇත්තටම වැරදි හැබැයි අපි ස්ටැටිස්ටිකල් ටෙස්ට් එක ෆෝම් කරාට පස්සේ මොකද්ද කරලා තියෙන්නේ මෙයාව ඇක්සෙප්ට් කරලා ඇත්තටම මෙයා වැරදි වෙලාවක අපි මෙයාව ඇක්සෙප්ට් කරොතින් අපි ඒ වගේ එර එකක් කියනවා type 2 errors right type 1 errors and type 2 errors so type 1 error means rejecting is not when it is true මෙයා ඇත්තටම හරි වෙලාවක මේ ස්ටේට්මන්ට් එක ඇත්තටම හරි වෙලාවක මෙයාව රිජෙක්ට් කරන එක we can identify as a type 1 error right මෙයා right මෙයා ඇත්තටම වැරදි වෙලාවක මේ ස්ටේට්මන්ට් එක වැරදි වෙලාවක මෙයාව ඇක්සෙප්ට් කරන එක we can identify as type 2 errors right type 1 errors type 2 errors එහෙම වරදින්න පුළුවන්ද එහෙම වරදින්න පුළුවන්ද yes right statistics are not universally true අපි ලිමිටේෂන් එකක් විතර කතා කරමු right right type 1 errors we can represented by this alpha right type 2 errors we can represented by beta and this is the most important thing right procedure for testing hypothesis so this is exactly the procedure you want to follow to answer for the questions relating with hypothesis in your exams right so this is the procedure you need to follow right first one set the significance level or alpha value right if it is not given samanyen ape ganang walna level of significance එක දෙනවා right significance level significance level මෙයාට opposite term එක අහලා තියෙනවා මොකද්ද this one confidence interval right when the said value is 
in between right plus so minus 1.96 what is the confidence interval confidence interval is 95 percent right confidence interval like a 95 percent now significance level like a key up in that it is five percent right if the confidence interval is 99 percent what should be the significance level it is one percent right significance level and confidence interval again right here the basic idea is so we are going to test this assumption based on this much of confidence right up to see it see yet exactly here and there may they win over my kela right someone in social science was for enough see it on upaha confidence interval like a man at the up here come again pull one see it up by a significance level right medical sciences well enough right to be a third in your gun name with a research can know enough the confidence interval should be 99 percent in other terms significance level should be one percent right so that is the first thing we need to determine or we should know the other significance level right significance level like the negan or not and then second one state the appropriate null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis assumption negative based on this based on that assumption we need to determine what should be our null hypothesis what should be our alternative hypothesis and third one mark the acceptance and rejection regions on a diagram right mark the acceptance and rejection regions on a diagram here again few things we should know right it can be a one tailed test or it can be a two tailed test one tailed test ka kwennat puluwa e man nattam two tailed test ka kwennat puluwa right one tailed test kiyala kiyanne right you will understand this with an example right less than more than h not h1 we have a looting it in a category on a list then more than cut under a plan right it is a one tail test and if we go through our null and alternative hypothesis if those hypothesis discusses about right a condition we are equal or not equal situation samana the asamana the killer nang up a hypothesis for a test currently a two tail test right or do the very the kill and test currently right a one tail test right one tailed and two tailed right so this one i will ex explain you further with an example right one tail and two tail so we need to determine that to mark the acceptance and rejection regions and then we need to compute the appropriate test statistics with the sample data the put data power which you can allow me he said well you can run known and then find whether the calculated test statistics falls in the acceptance or rejection region a calculable amount to get placed in a gila quote another acceptance region maker the rejection region maker the right and then we should able to make a suitable conclusion right example one example one these types of questions will be there in your exam paper as well right may type ke prashna tama exam ki godak kelawata aha right what it says the iq of students are normally distributed right 
normally distributed it means the iq level of students are have been distributed like this right something like this normally distributed right then a teacher claims that the iq of all students in the class is greater than 180 right this is the assumption a teacher claims that what iq of all students is greater than 180 oka tama assumption ek right so this is the assumption right assumption is what iq of all students in the class is greater than 180 right meka thamai assumption ne right this is what teacher claims or teacher as you right so this is what we are going to test right then it is known that the standard deviation of iq of all such students is 32 standard deviation value ek 32 dekai right a random sample of 40 students so our sample size is 40 from the class showed the mean of 128 right so our mean value is given as 128 what we have been asked to is test the teachers claim at 5% level of significance right significance level significance level is at 5% so these are the things given right assumption එක කියලා තියෙනවා right and other statistical informations have been given so we need to test this claim මෙන්න මේ assumption එක teacher කිව්ව එක හරිද වැරදිද කියලා බලන්නයි තියෙන්නේ right what is the first thing we need to do first thing we need to do what set the significance level if it is not given right amount set karanna deyak na it is given right the significance level is what significance level is 5% significance level like a 5% kiyala kiyanne confidence interval ekak kiyada what should be the confidence interval 95% 95% right then second one what we need to do state the appropriate null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis right h not kohomada wenno ona h1 kohomada wenno right h not means null hypothesis h1 means alternative hypothesis right tell me how it should be first what should be my null sorry alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis එක වෙන්න ඕන මොකද්ද what should be my null sorry alternative hypothesis h1 වෙන්න ඕන මොකද්ද අපේ desired result එක right අපි වෙයි කියලා ගොඩක් වෙලාවට assume කරන එක අපි assume කරන්නේ මොකද්ද what we assume iq of all student in the class is greater than 180 so this is what we assume or oh, this is our desired result so that should be our 
H1, right? Or our alternative hypothesis. Clear? Then H0 means what? H0 kill again. H0 means the total opposite of this. H1 negative total opposite taker, right? And I'm going to note IQ of all students in the class is less than. Class is yes, less than, right? Less than 180. Up a desired desired take H1 value, a total opposite take in H0 value, right? So we have done the second point state the appropriate null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis that is done. Then, third one, mark the acceptance and rejection regions on the diagram. On the diagram means it is talking about this, right? This normally distributed, this normal distribution. So within this, in this, we need to mark the acceptance and rejection regions. How can we do that, right? In order to mark acceptance and rejection regions, we should know whether it is a one tail test or a two tail test. Make a one tail, the two tail. Is it one tail or is it two tail? One tail. One tail, the two tail. Right for this third point, we need to determine this. It is one yes, tail. it is a one tail test. A one tail test, killer here. Right, one tail test here. Less than more than type. Right, less than more than type. Right, than more than type. Right, right? Yes, it should be a one tail test. One tail test kill kiyanni, right? One tail test means ape normal distribution ne ke, right? Ekka pettak pitra api consider karanne yaan, right? Two tail test ki wo thi, Right, two tail test ki hoti minne me areas dekam. Right, two tail test ki hoti me equal lo not equal vage deak nang api test karanne ani. Right, it is a two tail test, so two tail two tail test are looking like this. If it is a one tail test, ekko oya petto humati enna pulvang. Right, e man netta me petta ni humati enna pulvang. Then api decide karega no na mukadhe. We are greater than Nikad, we are less than Nikad, kill. Right? Greater than the less than. Then what do you want to do? You have to do the other one. H1 the other one is greater than. H0 the other one is less than. And you have to do the other one. Right? Usually, we are looking at the null hypothesis. Right? Null hypothesis. IQ of all students in the class is less than 180. Less than Q thing. In a right hand side, may path the part of a non may path. Right hand side, the left hand side. Is it right hand side or left hand side? Less than Q o thing? Less than Q. Because here the heart at a do it. Kill Q o thing? Which part? Left or right? Left or right? Left. Yes, right? If it is less than, it is towards the left, right. So it talks about this area, right? Less than, right? 
for acceptance rejection regions part karaddi what we need to refer is h not for our null hypothesis right so here what should be the z value here mena metana z value ekak kiyada gana vidiya matakai mean ekak di z value ekak hamathissema zero right now now right we are in the given step again third step we need to mark the acceptance and rejection regions on the diagram right now we have two regions right part karapu region eka tiyenawa part karapu nathi region eka tiyenawa ehenan ape acceptance region eka mokadda rejection region eka mokadda right api h not pa accept karanne kohoma unawadda h not pa accept karanne kohoma unawadda if the iq of all students in the class is less than 118 we are going to accept h not right in a less than 118 pennanne menne me part karapu area eken enan eya acceptance region ekata rejection region ekata h not accept wenne menne me area eke di so this is our acceptance region right acceptance region ये तो यहाँ पे acceptance region है right जी सब है acceptance region ये ना part अगर पुनः दी ठीक है right this part this is सब rejection region this is our rejection region right acceptance region and rejection region right right then what we need to do it was mukada karanna thi acceptance region rejection region mark karagatta then fourth step we need to compute the appropriate test statistics with the sample data right we deep data pavichi karala we need to calculate the appropriate test statistics it means we need to calculate the what z value right we ek 118 edi me ek 118 edi z value ekak kiya that is what we need to find we need to find the z value can you remember the formula kom kal karanne x minus x minus yeah is mu x minus mu divided by what sample parity x minus mu divided by what now there are two things is it should be standard deviation or is it should be <coughs> what is the other one mean. se standard error of <coughs> mean oy dege mokadda othan ten standard deviation ekin da bedanne nathan standard error of mean ekin da right standard error of mean standard error of mean matakai <coughs> neida right standard error of mean gatte kohomada standard error of mean standard deviation right standard deviation nika beduwa square root of n or square root of sample size මෙතෙන්ට දා ගන්න ඕන ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් ඩීවියේෂන් එකද එහෙමත් නැත්නම් SE එකද ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් එරර් ඔෆ් මීන් එකද you should know that right is that values ඕන විදි දෙකක් කතා කරා normal distribution වල කතා කරේ කොහොමද x minus mu divided by standard deviation when it comes to sampling theories how 
we have found the z value x minus mu divided by the standard error of me right there are two ways we have discussed method 10 ni oy dekem mokad right but is either standard deviation the api metana me mokadda karanni api population eke database karaganna deyanne sample eke database karaganna deyanne right but right here it should be standard error of me right not a standard deviation standard error of me so standard error of mean can be calculated by this formula right if you apply figures what should be the values here the standard deviation value given as 32 sample size right sample size is 40 so what should be the answer here 32 divided by square root of 40 5.0596 right so this is the standard deviation value so the standard error of mean value then right we can find the z value ah before that right before finding the z value right based on this based on the significance level right based on the significance level we need to determine the values right determine the value here menne metana value ekak api determine karaganne right based on the significance level right right after marking the acceptance and rejection regions now we should know the z value here menna metana z value eka api danaganna on for that we need to make the use of significance level significance level is equal to 5% right significance level eka 5% kiyala kiyanne right the probability here the probability presented by this region is 5% minna me region eke probability eka 100 ta paha natham binduwai dashama binduwai paha eya binduwai dashama binduwai paha na from 0 to that point right from 0 to that point what should be the probability minna me area eke probability eka kiya level of significance 5% means this acceptance region consistent with consist with 0.05 probability right so the rejection region how it should be menna me tike area eka kiyak wenawad from 0 to this point 0.5 Zero point four five man eh? Have I eight? Asan ni ngan ega tiram ka ud. Zero point four four nine five. Inne kiya dide? One point six four valadi, right? It means the z value here is one point six Right. After marking the acceptance and rejection regions, we need to find the z value here. Two tail test na may pati tine value ka dana gan no right. That can be determined by using the level of significance given. 
5% level of significance කියලා කියන්නේ මෙන්න මේ acceptance region එකේ probability එක 5%. එහෙනම් from 0 to that point it should be 0.45. So based on this figure we can find the z value as 1.64. Right? 1.64. Right. Now we can calculate the z value. Minna me the karagatra passitama yapi atante unknown, right? He said value of Kalkaragan no. Right. Here, yeah. by substituting figures, we can find the z value. X value is 118, right? Mu value is given 128. Standard error of mean we have found 5.0596. Right by substituting, tell me what should be the answer? What should be our Z value here? Okay, then. Minus 1.976, right? Minus 1.976. Right. Minus 1.97, right? This is our Z value, calculated Z value, right? Yeah. Right, we have the significance level was given null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis were developed and then we have marked the acceptance and rejection regions and we have determined these values as well right and then compute the appropriate test statistics done we have found the value as minus 1.97 then find whether the calculated test statistics falls in the acceptance or rejection region they calculate got the Z value a TNA acceptance region a key the rejection region a key the killer balanel if it falls in the rejection region reject null hypothesis rejection region again I'm here in a null hypothesis take a reject current right if it falls in the acceptance region, do not reject the null hypothesis. Means we are accepting null hypothesis. Right. Here, minus 1.97. Minus 1.97. Right. Minus 1.97. Minus 1.97. Right. Here, it should be minus 1.64, right? Negative side, left side, they can minus values. Right minus 1.97 this particular value up in my graph figure them thing right it should be somewhere here minus 1.97 right isn't it right minus 1.97 click and when me are you at the in a may I in acceptance region make it rejection region again where is it? In the acceptance region or in the rejection region? Acceptance region, the rejection region, right? It is in the acceptance region. Acceptance region, right? It is in the acceptance region. So, how we can conclude? conclude At the conclusion, I can conclude. H not to accept karanad me and H not to reject karanad. Right? What should be our conclusion? H not to accept karanad, H not to reject karanad. H not is what? Accepted or rejected? H not is accepted. Right? H naught is accepted by 
it has fall our calculated z value has been fallen on the acceptance region therefore the h naught is what accepted right h naught is accepted enang h naught walin q eka thamai hari h naught walin api mokada kiyala thiyenne iq of all students in the class is less than 80 enang menne me statement eka thamai etha me de thamai hari right that is what we can conclude iq of all students in the class is less than 180 क्लास मेकिंग decisions right theeta gadi the hypothesis testing pa which wenne oya vidihata right so what were the steps we have done right first we should be clear with what is the assumption given and then based on the assumption we should develop our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis then we should determine right then we should determine whether it is a one tail test or a two tail test and then mark the acceptance and rejection region on our diagram and then what right based on the level of significance given right we need to know the respective z value and then we should have a calculated z value based on the information given right and then we want to look whether it falls in the acceptance region or in the rejection region based on that we can conclude whether we are going to accept our null hypothesis or we, whether we are going to reject our null hypothesis right that is what we do in hypothesis testing sir may after are natasha wage volume ek adui mata ehena adui sir may apita bolawanda are greater than ग्रेटर्ट <laughs> අපිට දෙනෙක් කෙනෙක් ඇසියුම් කරන්න ඕනේ දෙනෙක් කෙනෙක් ඇසියුම් කරලා තියෙන ග්‍රේටර් දැන් 118 කියලා එහෙනම් මේක තමයි අපි ඩිසයර්ඩ් රිසල්ට් එක රයිට් මේක තමයි අපි අර පොසිටිව් පැත්තට ඇසියුම් කරන එක ඒ පොසිටිව් පැත්තට ඇසියුම් කරන එක තමයි අපේ h1 වෙන්න ඕන නැත්නම් ඔල්ටර්නේටිව් හයිපොතිසිස් එක වෙන්න ඕන රයිට් නල් හයිපොතිසිස් කියලා කියන්නේ සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපි නෙගටිව් ෆෝම් එකෙන් දෙන්නේ නල් හයිපොතිසිස් කියන ඒවා රයිට් do not equal less than or again negative aspect එකකින් තමයි අපි sorry null hypothesis ලියා ගන්නේ right alternative hypothesis තමයි අපි desired result හැම තිස්සෙම conclusion එක දෙද්දි අපි h0 වලට යන්නේ h1 වලට ගියා කියලා වැරද්දකුත් නැහැ right අපිට මේකම කියන්න පුළුවන් මොකද h0 is accepted වෙනුවට 
H1 is rejected kiyala. Right? H0 is accepted kiyuvat ekai. H1 is rejected kiyuvat ekai. Lai api saman ni karan ni null hypothesis chaka base karan tamai. Api conclusion ni karan. Right? Okay. Right. Example two. Right. Example two. What it says? The manager of an insurance company has asked <clears throat> the company's statistician to find out whether or not the private passenger cars are driven 25,000 kilometers a year. Right? This is what he needs to find. This is what he needs to find. Whether or not the private passenger cars are driven 25,000 kilometers a year. The statistician collected data from a random sample of 100 private passengers. It means the sample size is 100. And found that their mean distance is 25,980 kilometers. Right? Mean value is. 25,980. It is assumed to be known that the variability of passenger car distance per year is given by a standard deviation of 4,500 kilometers. A standard deviation value is 4,500. Find the reply that should be given by the statistician to the manager. Right? Assume current at a well known, right? Me private passenger car, our route that a kilometer is upon the house, do another than at the gear. Right? So that should be our conclusion whether or not the private passenger cars are driven 25,000 kilometers a year. That is what we need to find. The level of significance or the significance level is given as 5%. These are the information given. Right. The first thing we need to do is what? Right. Significance level is given and then we need to do what? We need to determine H0 and H1. Right. Kalin example like a nang hari yatama kira tibba. Have I met an ek echerma clear ne? Whether or not, right? Whether or not the private passenger cars are driven 25,000 kilometers a year, right? And now what should be our H1? H1 when no namukad, right? We can say what? Yes, private passenger cars are driven 25,000 kilometers a year. This is H1. Private passenger cars are driven 25,000 kilometers a year. Right? So if it is H1, what should be H0? May I have a total opposite ticket? We see Panda Hak, Duanama Kil H1, Malagina, in H0, Malagina, no Mugad. Kilometers which upon the hug do any negative private passengers car passenger cars are not driven 25,000 kilometers here, right? H naught and H one H one will link any kilometers which upon the hug out the do no H naught will link any out of the kilometers which upon the hug do any ne, right? Right. Then, yes, we have determined the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Then third step, we need to mark the acceptance and rejection regions on the diagram. Right? 
in order to mark acceptance or rejection region we should know whether it is a one tail test or whether it is a two tail test what can you say make a one tail test ekak the two tail test ekak this is a two tail test right equal the not equal the kela balanne 25000 samana the nedd we need to use the both tails of our distribution right we need to use both tails of our distribution right me ekak pavichchi karanna ona right this side as well right here the z value is 0 metan z value ek 0 right so this is a two tail test two tail test now right these are what these are our acceptance region acceptance stage here also this is also our acceptance stage me portion ek tamai rejection region acceptance region and rejection region and then we should know what we should know the z values right based on the level of significance we can determine what should be the z values in these places right level of significance is 5% hai na kaling one tail test ek nisa 5% kenek kena tani patte hitiya den mokadda wenne me denna de pattata bedila yana right Five percent. They can be acceptance region. Well, I can do a five percent. In a method, he has given zero point five percent. They can be doing a zero point zero two five. Five percent. Divided by two, zero point zero two five, right? Metana inna zero point zero two five. That is how five percent has been four. Five percent has been no idiot. If the value here is zero point zero two five, what should be the value here? Atna zero point zero two five na. From zero to that point, what should be the value? Zero point four seven five. Zero point four seven five. Right. Now we can find. So here also the value is same as that. Right. Zero point four seven five. Now by using the set table, we can find the value. respective z values right 475 in ko he 0.475 here right here we have 0.475 z value is equals to what 1.9 right 1.96 
1.96 वाले दिता माइ राइट प्रोबेबिलिटी को एवेल्यूएट करें है ना माइनस 1.96 टू माइ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड प्लस 1.96 टू माइ राइट हैंड साइड 1.96 Yes. Okay. Then what we need to do? We have marked the acceptance and rejection regions, and we knew the reset values, respective reset values as well. Now we need to compute the appropriate test statistics. It means we need to calculate the reset value, right? We need to calculate the reset value. in order to calculate z value we should know the standard error of mean right standard error of mean we are going to know standard deviation value is given as 4500 divided by standard so divided by sample size sample size is given as 100 it means what should be the Standard error of mean value four thousand five hundred divided by ten or fifty. Right, four fifty. And what should be the set value? We need to just substitute the figures. Now, right, x value is what? X value is twenty five thousand. Mean value is even twenty five thousand nine hundred and eighty, right? Twenty five thousand nine hundred and eighty. SC we have found four hundred and fifty. Therefore, what should be the set value? Twenty five thousand minus twenty five thousand nine hundred and eighty equals divided by four fifty. Minus two point one seven. Minus two point one seven. Yes. Right. Then we have computed the appropriate reset value, and then we need to find whether it is in the acceptance or rejection region. Minus two point one seven. What are the Right, minus two point one seven. Q O thing. It should be somewhere here. Minus two point one seven. What is it? Right. In our acceptance region, here is the rejection region. Here is the. Right. Our calculated or computed reset value is in the acceptance region. Right. Acceptance region. Here is the. Therefore, what should be our conclusion? What should be our conclusion? The conclusion is that we know that H not is accepted the rejected. H not is accepted because it is in the acceptance region, right? Calculated Z value is in the acceptance region. Therefore, we are going to accept H not or null hypothesis is accepted. What do you mean by null hypothesis is accepted? Right, means statistically given a video. In general form, how can we say it's not is accepted? Can you get the error? Mukad, when the main statement take a hurry. Mukad main statement take. Private passenger cars are not driven twenty five thousand kilometers a year. Hurry, it's a kilometers. We see panda hag do one ne. It a vada binas vinna pulu. Right. So this is our conclusion. This is what the manager wanted to know, right? Whether or not the private passenger cars are driven to eighty-five thousand kilometers a year. So we have statistically found that the private passenger cars are not driven twenty-five thousand kilometers a year, right? 
so that is how we can solve the questions relating with hypothesis testing right hypothesis testing ganang avuthin right this is the way we need to solve those right it always follows a sequential order assumption ekak hariyata danaganna ona based on that we need to develop null and alternative hypothesis then we need to then we need to determine the acceptance and rejection regions with reference to whether it is a one tail test or a two tail test right and then based on the significance level given we need to determine the corresponding z values then based on the information given we need to compute the z value right and then based on this computed z value we should able to conclude whether we are going to accept h not or reject our null hypothesis right if you have any doubts you can raise sir our sequential order ka follow karana thama thiyenne hariyata me step eken passe me ekata yanne me eken passe me ekata yanne right then you will not miss the things meta ekka pa reset value call karagena ita passe dewal hitanna giyo thin dewal mage arena right reset value call karala hypothesis develop karanna giyo thin wede amawadi right right so with that shall we stop for today